Hey guys, I am Kyle and in today's video I'm going to show you how to use Duolingo app beginners tutorial. So let's get started. So in this video we will be uh, discussing the features and functions of Duolingo right here so that even if you're a beginner you would be able to uh, effectively use Duolingo to learn new languages. And first things first, before you even get here into the main dashboard or the main game right here, if it's your first time signing in or uh, using Duolingo, then Duolingo will be asking you some personal questions first, like what language do you want to learn first? Uh, how much time would you spend on Duolingo learning every day? Uh, it would ask you certain questions like that. And you would also be taking your first test uh, before you get here into this dashboard if it's your first time so there will be an introductory phase but after you have answered all of the all of those personal questions then you will be able to proceed right here so from here i will be uh, uh showing you the functions so the first one are the buttons here at the top as you can see we have a flag right here in my case it's a japan flag because this is the language that i have chosen and from here you can tap on add course and then in here you can actually add a course to learn something new like maybe language or you can even go for math music and you can go for other languages right here anything that you'd want so you could have the courses right here and you can tap on more so that you could view more so uh, yeah and the next thing is uh, this fire icon right here the next button so this is this trick right here so what is trick so it's basically the amount of or the number of frequency that you have used duolingo consecutively for a certain amount of days so as you can see right here you can earn gems by keeping your streak alive right here so this might be uh, important and you can go here for friends and you can see the streaks of your friends right here so you might want to sync up your contacts in order for you to see your friends here and the next thing is this button this is the gem so from here you can buy some boosters right here so I, like for example freeze streak right here so even if you skip a day uh, using duolingo it won't affect your streak because you have the uh, streak freeze and then you have the timer boost so it would add you more time to your uh, tasks your quests and then the next thing is you have the special offers right here, the streak freezes, timer boost, these are the prices, you can buy gems, and you can have unlimited heart right here, so you could have unlimited if you would subscribe, and you also have the promo code if you have one. And then the next thing is we have the heart button right here. So uh, every day you would get uh, replenished with your five heart slots right here. But if you subscribe, then you would have unlimited hearts. So uh, this won't get depleted right here. So remember, if you don't have any hearts anymore available, then you wouldn't be able to uh, do your lessons right here. And if you make mistakes during your lessons you would get uh, deducted by one heart per mistake so be very careful of that and then the next thing is this button right here so as you can see when you tap on that you would be able to see the sections right here that you would need to complete in order for you to complete the Japanese course or the language that you have chosen right here and you can tap here on the notebook sign and then from here you would be able to see the key phrases the tips right here in overcoming the section or completing the section and from here you would be able to see the tree uh, so uh, this progress uh, is called tree right here for some reason I don't know why but they call it three so from here you can see here in unit one you would be able to uh, get a four lessons right here per unit and then also here you'd get four and so on and you would be able to jump to uh, each unit for example you can see the jump here button you want to tap on that and then you would be able to uh, take a test in order for you to jump ahead to unit two if you are confident that you can pass this now without taking the previous lessons all right, so now that we're done with that, let's proceed to the buttons at the bottom. So from here, you can see that we have the house icon button. So this is where you'd be able to see your progress, the levels, the progress in the tree, and so on right here. So this is basically what you're seeing here. And then the next 
button is basically uh, based on the language that you have chosen in my case since I have chosen Japanese so I have the icon of a Japanese symbol and from here I would be able to learn our uh, characters phrases uh, right here so it would depend on the language that you have chosen you can even go for katakana and then I would have the tips right here you can read the tips right here so that you can learn better and you can learn the characters and so on and the next button is the chest button so from here you would be able to see the quest rewards and your daily quest and you would be able to unlock more levels uh, or more quests once you uh, boost or level up and then next is the badges so this is where you'd be able to earn your badge so uh, you would need to level up first in order for you to unlock this right here so yeah this is basically where you get most of your resources right here like where you could get the most gems and then the next thing is the dumbbell button so from here you would be able to practice so you could go for a target practice tackle weak areas with this customized section you can see your mistakes your words stories and you can even listen so when i go to mistakes as you can see i would be able to see all of it right here and i have lost a life or heart right here at this point and then the next thing is the shield icon. So this is where is uh, you can see the leaderboards. Like if you want to rank uh, among your friends, then you, this is where you want to see it on how much score you have against them and so on. The next thing is the last button. So this is where you will be able to see the feed and your profile. So here in the feed is, of course, this is where you'd be able to receive the notifications in Duolingo right here, some updates and whatsoever. And then the next thing is a profile. This is where you'll be able to see your profile right here, your overview, your day streak, total XP, your username, and so on right here, even your achievements. This is where you would want to see it. And yeah, those are basically the basic functions and features right here in Duolingo. And you'll be able to unlock more functions and features as you level up or progress here in Duolingo. But yeah. You don't have to worry about that because they are very direct and those are basically it and regarding the uh, test or uh, the game right here when you take the test right here you don't have to worry much about that because you would learn it as you progress and yeah you just have to experience it and yeah so that is everything for this beginner's tutorial so with this one i hope you learned a lot as a beginner and i hope this would enable you to effectively use duolingo as a learning tool in learning new languages so that is basically it for this video thank you for watching